Byron calling me the love guru is something of a joke. But this is a African hawk eagle at very close quarters. They normally fly, I think this bird will fly fairly soon. And where its partner is, I don't know. There we go. It's going to have a poop first, perhaps. Are you ready, everybody? Get your screenshots ready. Pause your finger ready. Because, of course, the ultimate photograph is the bird about, or the bird as it takes off. That's what we want. Bird, don't disappoint. Come on. Are you ready, everybody? Your finger's poised over the print screen button. No, this one is very, very confiding. I'm astounded. They don't normally give us anything like this amount of time. Especially not the hawk eagle. The hawk eagle tends to be a bit shy. Catherine, you say his legs are very long. They are very long. In fact, you know what? I was just thinking to myself, there's something funny about this bird that I don't really, and, and I can't put my finger on it, and that's exactly what it is. It's the fact, Catherine, as you say, that it has such very long legs. And that's because it's a hawk, which means it catches other birds and often in flight. And so those long legs probably help it to do that. It grabs them with the talons. But they are very long and very feathered. Now, are you going to fly, bird? No, I don't think he is. This is spectacular, everybody. I think this is a male. The female is a bit bigger than that. And I suspect quite strongly that there is another one around here somewhere. Here we go. No. <laughs> Come on. I'm just listening to an update here about Karula's babies, which apparently are still viewable from Gauri Main Road, which means Karula is hunting somewhere. And the youngsters are still to the south of Little Gauri. I'm just going to keep you posted on that. I'm going to give this bird another one second to fly. And then we're going to press on. Gorgeous. Oh, there it goes. Come on, bird, give us a fly. Ah, now, Lisa, a good one from you, baby. You've just started to keep a bird list. How many species of birds you want to know are there in this park? Well, in the Kruger Park, of which we are part, there are over 500 species of birds. Out here, the total species list probably just touches 300. But more commonly, I think you could probably expect to see uh, you could probably expect to see 250 birds fairly regularly from here. Now that was a <laughs> it was bombed there. I thought it was a drongo, but it isn't. It's a kingfisher. What's the kingfisher bombing this bird? The hawk eagle. There were two kingfishers that came in. They did a little swoop past, as if to say, "Get out of here. We don't want you here." You nasty creature. You killer of our kind. Yeah, David, I'm, I don't know the answer to this, but for protection, perhaps. You say, why would a bird have feathered legs rather than unfeathered legs? Well, I guess there are two reasons. One would be protection against biting things. So if you are perhaps... Let's say you're a martial eagle and you like to kill 
monitor lizards. Well, I guess the feathers would protect your legs if you don't quite time your attack perfectly. And, you know, you get yourself into a little bit of trouble and you get bitten. So that's one. Oh, that was, a, that was the kingfisher coming in again. And then the other thing I suspect is for thermoregulation. And you may find that these eagles evolved at a time when it was a lot colder. And bare legs will lose an enormous amount of heat and feathered legs not so much. So I'd be interested to know in the New World uh, and in northern latitudes, at higher latitudes, if there are fewer birds with bare legs than there, than there would be out here.